Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have a Fjord Elf, if that is how we pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure, but this thing is awesome. So this is the Wing 12 GPS drone. Let's open up, see what we get inside. Comes with a case, and if you know me, if it comes in a case, I get super excited about it because one thing makes it super portable. You throw it into your backpack, um, take it for a hike, use it out on a trail, use it on vacation, super compact. I mean, it's the size of a little lunchbox. I mean, that's great. So let's open it up. So it comes with a pack of, I think these are AA batteries, which is, I mean, awesome, awesome. You don't have to get any batteries, it's already there. So this is the unboxing part. So it basically has your setup guide, putting your batteries in your remote, starting everything up. Read through this thoroughly before you start anything because there's a lot of safety precautions in there. A lot of little hints and tricks that you, you will need in getting your drone set up. So this is the remote and it's got a little cell phone holder so you can put your cell phone on there and that's going to be your screen for you so i love how that folds up those are your antennas and then your battery compartment is on the back it does have a little screw so you're not going to lose your batteries as it gets jostled around if you're traveling if you're going to be using it for that purpose so it does come with two batteries for the drone itself so that's great we're actually going to keep these out so we're going to start charging those pretty fast here so this is your drone and your legs fold out really super easy and actually I did them in the wrong order so the hint on that is that you have your little landing gear pieces right here so those will go out first and then you can get your other propellers out that is your camera that's mounted there, so that is really cool. And it's got a little lens guard on it, so you can peel that off before you start filming. That's your power button. And then your batteries simply go in this way. And you'll see it has like the little thumb pad, so you put it in and just make sure it kind of clicks into place. So that is that. And these are our cables. So let's get that pack open, get our batteries charging. And this kit has your charging cable. That's your screwdriver, so we can put the, your, the batteries in the remote. You have a bunch of extra propellers here and extra set screws. And this is pretty cool. So it basically has three leads on it. So you can charge the battery. You can charge the batteries all at the same time. So that's how you plug that battery in. Let's get that plugged in and charging. And it's kind of hard to see, but it has actually two red lights on this. So as it's charging, my delusion is it'll either turn green or go out. I'll let you know in a second. So it has another quick guide in here. So that's your software instructions. Then this is your operating manual. So again, read through everything before you even put the batteries in or even before you get ready to start takeoff. Just so you have a good quick understanding on the calibration mode, how to set that up and get that up and, and running. But <clears throat> All right, so putting in your remote batteries, you basically are going to use your screwdriver, get that in there and remove that screw, which is a little on the tight side, so no biggie. And then we'll get this opened up, and then we'll open up our batteries. And again, spring side is the flat side. We got those batteries in, snap that into place, 
and then we'll just set the screw back down <clears throat> okay so that is your first part of the process okay now we'll go outside <laughs> stick to it okay so for the software it for me it came up as being um, all the different Asian languages so the third one is going to be settings just in case it defaults to that and then as soon as settings comes up it'll give you an English option to be able to do so after the batteries are charged oh and software instructions basically just follow them and they're pretty straightforward on how to do the install for that so unboxing and setup guide so basically, we are going to put the batteries in, which I showed you previously. Batteries go back in here behind that screw. It's four AAA batteries. So we are going to get that ready to turn on. We are going to install our battery into the drone until it clicks in place. We're going to remove the lens cover. That's just a one-time thing. And then, so this camera does swivel up and down. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power button on. And you'll hear it kind of like sing to you a little bit. Then we're going to turn on the remote. So one beep means that it's connected to the drone and it's ready to go. So we are going to connect our phone. All right, so we're going to connect our phone to the controller. It kind of mounts in that and what first things we're going to do is we're going to go into our Wi-Fi and we're going to look for the drone And then you're going to be looking, it's going to be Wi-Fi, 5G, 4K, GPS. So we're going to click on that. It's going to say connecting. So we're connected. Go back into the app. Now you can see that the camera is operating. Okay, then hit calibrate. And then, click. all right, so I hold this button for three seconds. Okay, now it's going to be ready for calibration. So you turn it horizontally two to three times. You'll hear it beep when it's completed. So basically, that's completed. And then next, you are going to rotate the drone. So then we rotate it this way two to three times. So that's all connected. So then we just follow along here. So we are basically ready for takeoff and we can start recording. So if you hit the camera on air, it'll start recording for you. And I'll show you some actual footage in air after we take off and do some landings. So we're gonna let that run. And then basically next we are going to be ready for takeoff. So press the stop button once. And that means that you're ready. And we are gonna basically put Move to a six down at the bottom, and that's going to be your lift off. And your takeoff is pretty simple. You then to move the camera. You have this button back here, and that will rotate that camera down and up. Now we'll take get some altitude. Um, spin it around, get a good look. Turn it down, and then you have the return home button here. 
So basically we hit that. brings in for a nice landing. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garageville Hall, thanks for watching and be safe and flying out there.